Okay, um, in this part of how to play one, I'm going to show you how to play the, um, kind of solo in the middle, not the main solo. Um, so it starts out, what, what I do is, you bar the, um, seventh frets of the, uh, G and B strings, and you put your pinky on the tenth fret of the B string. And, um, you do a pull off from the tenth fret to the ninth fret of the B string. And then, um, tenth, the seventh fret of, uh, of the G string. And then B string. And then tenth fret. And then ninth fret. Eighth fret. Oh, wait, t sorry, tenth fret. Eighth fret. Seventh fret. Um, the ninth fret of the G string then 7th fret of the B string and then 7th fret again and you hammer on to the 8th fret and then back to the 7th and then 7th fret of the G string and then you're going to slide up on the B string from the 7th fret to the 15th and then 13th and then 14th of the G string then 13th of the B string, and then 13th again, hammer on to the 4th, uh, sorry, 12th of the um, B string, and hammer on to the uh, 13th, and pull off to the 12th. Um, and then 12th fret of the G string. And then you go up here, and uh, you're going to pull off from the 17th fret of the high E string to the 14th fret and then 15th fret of the B string, 14th of the E string, and then 17th, and then 17th, 15, 14, 17 of the G string, then 14 of the E string, then 14 hammer on, 15 pull off 14, then 15 of the G string. And then, um, from there you're gonna go up to the, you're gonna go 15 of the B string, uh, 19th of the B string, and then 15th of the, uh, E string, and then 17th. And then you're gonna do three sets of, um, these pull-offs, um, which is on the high E string, from the 19th to the 17th to the 15th. Three times. And then, um, really quickly, you're going to go from the 14th of the E string to the 15th, and then 17th of the B string, then 14th of the E string, and then 15th of the B string. And then these chords, you can slide up from anywhere down here um, on the B and G strings, and what it is is your middle finger goes on... Um, like, I slide up from the 3rd and 2nd frets, so, uh, what it is, is it a chord, it, it's a chord, um, with your middle finger on the 3rd fret of the B string, and your 1st finger on the, um, 2nd fret of the G string. And you're gonna, um, slide up from there to the, um, so your middle finger's on the 8th fret of the B string and your first finger is on the 7th fret of the G string and then you're gonna hit it, let's see, how many times? I think about four times and then um, you're gonna go just the 7th fret of the B string and then form that same chord again at the same spot and slide up so it goes up to um, the 13th and 12th fret Um, and you stop at the 12th fret of the B string. And then this part you're going to need to tap a little bit, so I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear this. Um, but you're going to tap from, uh, the, you're going to put your, what I do is put my ring finger on the 17th fret of the E string, first finger on the 13th fret of the E string, and then I use my middle finger to, um, to tap so I don't have to move my pick. 
and um, you tap you tap out the 19th frets. So ni 19, then 17, then 13. And like I said, you probably are you probably can't hear this. And you and you do that a number of times. I'm not sure how many. And then um, you end with um, a hammer on from the 12th to the 13th fret to pull off. And then you're going to do a double chorus. But instead of going from the third fret to the fourth fret at the end, you're going to do that same chord from with your first finger on the second fret of the A string and your ring finger on the fourth fret of the D string. And then move up a whole step. So it's going to go like this. And then do it again. And then um, I played the next part in my video, the metal bridge. Um, and I probably didn't do it right, so I'm not going to show you guys that because I can't really do it. Um, but uh, and in my next video, I'm going to do the part after that. The yeah, that part's pretty cool.